at Marcus Garrett. You may think it's his prosthetic leg that makes him different, but it's what you can't see that makes him special, his heart. After suffering a severe case of rhabdomyolysis, surgeons had no choice but to remove the lower half of his right leg. However, it's going to take more than losing a leg to keep Garrett from stepping on the court and playing the sport he loves more than anything, basketball. I thought it was a joke. Hey, I mean, I'm not going to lose my leg. I'm 17 years old. People at 17 don't lose their legs. And they couldn't save any part of my leg, so they just decided to cut it off. It started after a morning of working out and then heading to the gym to play pickup basketball for hours with friends. What started out as leg cramps turned out to be much worse. It had started to spread through my whole body. My, my biceps were cramping and my triceps and then my shoulder muscles, my pecs, everything was cramping up and I actually started to kind of hunch over. My muscles were pulling me over. Garrett was immediately flown to Texas Children's ICU. There were nine different people in the room. He had 16 IVs going. As Garrett's mother and as a nurse herself, all Allison Reynolds could do was watch her son from the sidelines. It was very different when it's your baby laying there. Not only were Garrett's kidneys failing, the 17-year-old was also suffering from rhabdomyolysis, a condition where the body is severely dehydrated. And as the body looks to hydrate, begins breaking down muscle tissue. With 16 incision marks left on his body to relieve pressure and five surgeries in six days, the one thing doctors could and save was his right leg. And after two weeks of being under anesthesia, Garrett had to wake up without something he came in with. It just kind of struck me. I was just like, whoa, I don't, I don't have a leg. I don't. I really love basketball and I love this school and I love playing for this school. And I had goals already set before this had happened. While doctors told Garrett sports would be out of the picture, he, as well as his coach, knew that would not be the case. Even though he had lost that leg, I had no doubt that he would be back. Adversity didn't mean anything to him. Which Garrett proved right when he got his prosthetic leg. The very next day, without walking for 160 days, Garrett was already back on the court. When he walked in, he just grabbed a ball and just started shooting around like nothing. He never said anything to me, like, hey, coach, I'm back, got my leg and everything. He just got right to practice like all the other guys do. I just slowly kept running and kept doing drills and shooting all the time, and I got to where I am now, and I can play. And he certainly can play. He's always had a positive outlook on life. Just like everyone else, Garrett walks on the court and plays the game he loves. When this first happened, I didn't think it was very inspirational that I wanted to keep playing basketball. I thought it was a normal reaction, like, hey, I mean, if you want to do something, go do it. You can, everyone has the power to do, it, to do whatever they want to do. I mean, over time and now, I've seen how many people are like, oh, you're inspiring me, you're such an inspiration, and it just, yeah, I, I notice it now more than ever. It's definitely been a journey, but I think what Marcus has taught, not only himself and his friends and family, but everyone that he's come in contact with, that not to let something knock you down, and that you can get up and keep moving, and he's done a great job of it. One proud mommy? Yes, I am. Tonight was Garrett's last basketball game, but the ending of one season means the beginning of another. Garrett said he will now get ready for golf as well as track and, of course, play pickup basketball here and there. We'll be right back.